Hi, my name is Matthias. Um, I'm the person behind Stitch Buddy. Um, Stitch Buddy is an embroidery editor available on Mac OS X, um, on iPads and for iPhones as well. And today I will give you a short preview of an upcoming version of Stitch Buddy, especially um, about a new feature which will be introduced with the next version. Um, here I've got my iPad, I've got Stitch Buddy. Um, when I just started, it will open um, the first design which is shipped with Stitch Buddy. It's only a sample. Um, I will switch directly to the gallery, uh, which of course only contains a single design. Um, and now I will enable Dropbox syncing. Um, Dropbox syncing is a feature which was introduced in the past, so it's not really new, but it has a well major improvement in my opinion. So. There's a warning um, shown that I shouldn't um, sync Stitch Buddy with iTunes while I have Dropbox Sync and, um, activated. Otherwise, the results will be a little bit mixed up because Stitch Buddy won't be able to um, identify which file is really new and should be synced and which not. Now it's syncing for a couple of seconds in the background. Um, currently, I have some folders here. I think about five or six folders with 150 designs. Or something like that, so it will take a couple of seconds. Well, here they are. Dropbox syncing is finished, um, as you can see in the um, menu item. Here you see my Dropbox folder, or more precise, it's an offline copy of this folder, so I can work with Stitch Buddy completely without internet connection um, on all modifications that will be made to designs or to folders will be synced back to when I'm connected to the internet again. So for example I've got the alphabets folder I can double tap to drill down into the folder. Um, there's two subfolders again I can double tap. Oh, sorry I just opened the design. Um, so I can double tap to see the subfolder within alphabets. With this error in the menu, uh, menu bar I can uh, navigate up to the parent folder again, drill down to, to the other one. Or as you can see, the designs are new to Stitch Buddy, so it's created the preview. It's creating the previews uh, the first time when a design is shown in the gallery. Can navigate up again. Um, if I'm lost in my folder structure and I just don't know where I am, I can use the second icon here. It's a little folder. It shows me the folder structure of my um, gallery, so I can see the alphabet subfolder within the ABC and the Apple uh, applications uh, alphabet subfolder as well with a check mark where I'm currently located. I can directly jump to other subfolders. Um, for example, this one it's a sample folder from Browser Designs, which are now uh, read by Stitch Buddy to prepare the previews. So um, these are other um, embroidery designs within my um, gallery or for example some genomes examples as well. I can jump directly back to the root folder again. Um, when I'm looking at a folder it has some um, well share icons uh, the same way as a file has but of course there are less share buttons. I can move a folder to another folder. I can copy it as well of course. Um, I can, well, for example, create a completely new folder, something like that. I can duplicate a folder as well. Um, so when I create a new folder here, let's call it demo, for example, it's created. And now what I can do, I can pick a file, a single file, or of course I can take a whole folder and copy or move it to this new created folder. For this demonstration, I will just copy it. And as you can see, here is demo. Once I've selected it, and I walk into the demo folder, there is or the file, as you might have expected. Um, the file uh, has some new features as well. Of course, it can be moved or copied to the folder, as I've already mentioned. Um, you can mail a file. It was already present in the uh, former, the previous versions of Stitch Buddy. Also, I have introduce the sub menu because the other one has just too many icons inside. 
Um, what you can do is you can open a design within another application or the target application has to accept incoming files, for example Dropbox does or Goodreader for example, or oh, there are some other embroidery apps um, which are able to handle them. At least uh, drawings was um, as which I think isn't accepting incoming files. Nevertheless, um, it depends on the insta uh, applications installed on your iPad. Um, what can I do next? Well, just one folder up. As I mentioned, I can duplicate a folder. Or not very special. Special. Or I can rename, like a file, I can rename, of course, a folder to something completely different here. For example, well, test. It's my favorite. Um, well. Basically, what are the most important features? Um, from your point of view, now you're able to organize your gallery with folders, with subfolders. Um, Stitch Buddy is much more robust in its Dropbox syncing. Um, it uh, syncs all files with Dropbox uh, one time when you open Stitch Buddy, of course. The second time when you're um, leaving the application, when it's running into background. And uh, there's a setting where you can specify uh, at, where, at what um, period Stitch Buddy should synchronize files while it is running. Um, the default is, I think, 50 minutes. So every quarter of an hour it will perform a synchronization, even if the app is uh, active all the time. Um, well, currently it's, it's uh, not released yet. I think I will be able to release this version 2.7 somehow in March this year, so within the next weeks. And I hope you will enjoy Stitch Buddy and its new features. And if you like it, please or like its Facebook page or leave a comment in Apple's App Store or just send me direct feedback, which I really appreciate. Have fun with Stitch Buddy.